Hello, I'm Keith, the boating guy. Now, given that I'm the boating guy, what I'm about to say may surprise you, but here it goes. Anchoring your boat can be almost as much fun as cruising. Okay, let me explain. It's true that few activities can compare with being out in the water, zipping along, enjoying the sunshine, watching the waves. Well, you get the idea. But let's say you stop to go swimming or fishing, relax, or just hang out in a quiet cove with your friends and family. Now that's when anchoring can be fun. The truth is, the ability to anchor your boat securely is a necessary boating skill. Anchoring can help you control your boat in bad weather or keep your boat secure if the engine has quit or the wind and the currents are pushing you around or towards shore. Anchors are made to burrow into the bottom and if an anchor is set right, the more your boat pulls on the anchor, the harder the anchor digs into the bottom. Choosing the right anchor has more to do with what's under the water than the type of boat that you have. For instance, some work best in sandy bottoms, while others are made for grassy or muddy riverbeds. Let's take a look at some popular anchors and see where to use them. Pivoting steel fluke anchors are made to work in mud and sand. They are perhaps the most common of all anchors available. The pivoting steel fluke anchor has two steel points that pivot and dig into the bottom. Now plow and claw anchors are similar to pivoting steel fluke anchors, except the pointy part is actually stationary. These are good for holding your boat in rocks and weeds and even sand also. Grapinal anchors, they look like a big grappling hook. They're used with small boats when the water conditions are very mild. Mushroom anchors, they don't have a whole lot of holding power and they're generally used in skiffs, canoes, inflatable boats. And lastly, we have our land and shoreline anchors. They're used when we want to secure our boat to the beach. Of course, to talk about anchoring, we need to learn the lingo. The anchor road is the line, line being the nautical term for rope that attaches the anchor to the boat. Now, scope is the term for the amount of road you have when you're actually anchoring. An anchor road is made up of a long length of line. I recommend nylon. It's strong, it stretches under load, and it lasts a long time. You should have several feet of chain, a couple of shackles to fasten the line, the chain, and the anchor all together. How do you know how much road you need? It's simple math. A good rule of thumb is to have an anchor road equal to five to eight times the depth of the water. Use a five to one scope for daytime anchoring and an eight to one scope when anchoring at night. Here's an example to make it easier. Say you're in 10 foot of water and you want an anchor line. Well, you need to, your line to be between 50 and 80 foot, the five to one or eight to foot road. Now, what if you're in 50 foot of water? You would need an anchor line between 250 feet or 400 feet. There's your five to one and your eight to one road. Well, it's much easier than you think and you get out in the water, you'll try it and you'll be do fine. Hope to see you out there. Good luck, safe boating.